On this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab, we're going to learn how to lock down Ubuntu and hopefully prevent it from cyber attacks by installing antivirus software and auditing software. This is the fourth video in a series about using Ubuntu as your primary operating system. As of 2020, far and away, Ubuntu is the most popular distribution of Linux. This is mostly for two reasons. One, it is super user friendly. So people who haven't used Linux before aren't afraid to try it out and then get used to it and learn to like Linux. And two, it has really rich community support and enough features to keep the power users happy. While Kali Linux has earned a reputation as the go-to tool for pen testers and hacking hobbyists, with a little bit of hard work and dedication, you can get Ubuntu up and running as a more than effective pen testing tool. In fact, I'm using Ubuntu 18 for all my hacking demonstrations on this YouTube channel. So far in this uh, video series about using Ubuntu as your everyday operating system, we've learned how to protect Ubuntu from both physical and network attacks. Today we're going to be learning about how to do some security maintenance on your computer. First, we're going to be installing an auditing software called Linus, and this will audit your computer and make sure that it's up to snuff with regards to security and make sure no nefarious activities have been committed on your computer. Then we're going to be installing some antivirus software specifically for Ubuntu. Yes, not only Windows get viruses, Linux can get viruses as well. After that, we're going to be installing a software, piece of software that can monitor the network usage per app. So we can see that an app isn't doing, isn't communicating with the network when it shouldn't be. In order to follow this tutorial, all you need is a computer with Ubuntu installed on it. And if you have any trouble following this video tutorial, you can always check out the article, which is linked down below in the description. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do to ensure the security of our Ubuntu uh, operating system is we're going to be installing a program called Linus. And Linus is a very handy tool for auditing your system to make sure that there's no pre-existing errors with how all the programs on your computer are configured. So to download it, you can just go to the uh, article linked down below in the description. And oops, I passed by the wget link. And we can just copy this command and copy it directly from the GitHub page. If you want, you can go to this, um, you can just dump this in your browser and you can verify that this is actually the Linus official uh, installation and that's for a future. And those pop-ups are actually um, related to what we're gonna be covering later in the video, so don't be alarmed by any of that. So now after that's downloaded, we have this master.zip and let's just go ahead and unzip that. And now we have this Linus uh, attack master folder in our computer. And if we just go there into that folder, we can see all the files that Linus has. And we just have to make sure that we grant Linus execute privileges. So we can just use chmod grant execute privileges on the Linus program. And so now we can actually run Linus. Let's just run help and see all the options that we can use. And as you can see, Linus is a pretty extensive program and it comes with uh, many different features. Um, today, we're just gonna be covering how to audit the system to perform a local system security scan. So to do that, all you have to do is sudo period uh, hyphen, just to indicate that the bash script is in the current directory and then Linus and there it is again. Don't worry, I'll explain that later. Linus audit system. And just give this a couple seconds. It's going to conform, uh, perform a complete scan of your system. So I'm going to just leave that running for a couple seconds and I'll get back to you. Actually, while well, this is actually running, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the antivirus program, which is um, Clam AV. So let's just open up a new terminal window and leave this running in the background. Zoom that up to you guys. And to install Clam AV, which is a popular um, antivirus program for Linux, I have to do is a simple apt install. APT gets install clam av. Oh, and I need to be sudo, of course. Okay, I already have clam uh, av installed, but it probably it's a pretty small download, so I'll probably just take a couple of seconds to install, depending on your internet speed. And then the scans for clam av are pretty long, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the article, and that will have uh, sample outputs. So the first one we're going to be doing uh, clam scan. 
So this first command is a complete scan of every file in your system, which is why you have to run it as sudo. So I'm just doing sudo clam scan, tack r recursive, so it's gonna go through every file and every subdirectory. And this is um, indicating the directory you wanna start in. And this is our, just the forward slash is your root folder. So I'm starting with every file. And then I'm saving this to the clam AV report log. And this, um, depending on how many files you have on your computer, could take like 30 minutes to a couple hours. So if you wanna scan for malware with clam scan, you can type in the following command. So this is a similar scan, except we're using a list, um, a pre-built list of malware that uh, clam scan is aware of. And there is a sample output here in the article. And oops, again, that's popping up. I swear that'll be explained uh, very shortly. Uh, and as you can see, it's performing various scans. And on this example, this I didn't actually write this article, but um, it found uh, 6,000, or is that million? Yeah, 6,500,000 viruses. And 23 infections were detected, as you can see right here. Oh, actually, this is the number of viruses. Okay, I thought that was way too high. This is the number of viruses known to clam scan, and it found 23 files which have a potential virus. And that's just on the scan, and that actually only took 71 seconds. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is um, installing OpenSnitch. And OpenSnitch is, Open is a firewall program for Linux. It's based on Little Snitch from um, Mac OS. And the installation is actually kind of complicated. I already did it, and I can't, I don't wanna uninstall it and redo it. So I'm just gonna walk you through um, the article tutorial. So first you're gonna have to install these dependencies. Uh, so all you have to do is copy paste, that's pretty easy. And then you have to copy paste here. And this is gonna be installing the protocols that OpenSnitch uses. And then there is uh, some more dependencies you have to install using Python 3. You have to have Python 3 installed in order to install uh, gRPC tools. This download takes quite a while, so give it like 10 to 20 minutes. And then here, um, the first time you try to run this command, it's actually not going to work. All you have to do is copy and paste these two commands and then go ahead and do this again and it will work. After you've done all that, you just have to use make in the directory that you downloaded it all. This will take a couple minutes and then do a make install. And then after you type in this command and reboot, um, you'll have this little cloud up here and I'll show you statistics. So basically, uh, OpenSnitch is constantly monitoring all the applications in a computer and every time they have a request to the internet. So as you can see, it's showing all these different requests, what process is using them. So my network manager is pinging, uh, looks like my router, and Firefox is pinging the internet, it's pinging Google API. So you basically just get to see everything that's going on in your computer. With the default settings, every time a new application tries to ping the internet, you'll get a big notification on your screen. That's what has been popping up all this time. And then this is what I like a lot. You can go down here and see if, like if you have a slow connection for whatever reason, you can see what's being pinged too often. So obviously the thing that's being pinged to most frequently is my router, well, the, the gateway. And, but you can see I've also pinged GitHub, that was for wget I did earlier. And then there's these other ones like Pia, where is a private internet access that's being pinged a lot because I'm using that as my VPN. And so this is just a simple way to monitor all the traffic that is going in and out of your computer. And so mine's still going, but once Linus finishes, you're gonna be seeing something like this. So it's gonna be telling you the version of Linux that you're using. Obviously, it's gonna save the report file somewhere. And then it's gonna give you some recommendations, such as uh, adding passwords to uh, certain programs or certain pieces of software. And right here, it recommends that you install a malware scanner, which we did with Clam AV. And so, sorry that I couldn't show you the direct output from my computer, but it was just taking quite a while. So this is the sample output from the article in the description. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out our website, where we have hundreds of free articles and videos, as well as premium paid content like the Ethical Hacking Certification Bundle, which features pen testing with OWASP Zap, WordPress hacking and hardening, and the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Prep Course. Check out the link in the description below. I hope this demonstration was able to prove to you that it's relatively easy to maintain the security of your Ubuntu operating system. And while this demonstration was specifically on Ubuntu version 18, um, all these prog programs should work on any Debian-based Linux distribution, so you can install those programs on your distribution as well. Again, if you had any problems following this tutorial, you can feel free to check out the article, which was written by DRD, down below in the description. If you have any ideas for a future video, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, at Nick Gottschall. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time on Cyber Weapons Lab.